Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today, a pencil review, something that is really part of the fall 2023 school supply season. These pencils from Walmart, Pen and Gear brand, uh, which of course is the house brand at Walmart and earlier a few weeks ago I reviewed the <clears throat> yellow uh, number two school pencils that they were selling for 47 cents uh, for a dozen so I saw these uh, and these were a dollar 48 or 49 call it a dollar fifty uh, for these 12 pencils uh, but what took me was the color love it these are sort of let's say laugh for lack of a better adjective here these are metallic and uh, kind of the silver gold bronze looking pencil and I just thought they were handsome. And they had some really bright neon colored ones, uh, but this just spoke to me because I love these colors and I think they're good looking. And so there's four of each. Uh, number two, wood pencils, 12 count, pen and gear. And they're in this plastic case. Uh, we can look on the back for some additional details here. So they have this NCFF stamp. Not sure. I'm going to guess that's some sort of sustainability or uh, something. Um, if I, I'm not sure what that stands for. Uh, but it's got a leaves on it so I'm guessing it has something to do with environmental um, these are made in India as are I think all the other pen and gear pencils um, and I think uh, Hindustan Pencil Company I'm fairly certain is the manufacturer of these pencils but again I just was taken by the color uh, colors offered here of these pencils. Um, I'm going to see if I can get them out without total destruction of the package. Um, one of each, we can look at them. So we'll take out a silver, take out a gold, and we'll take out a bronze. Okay, so here we go. So let's look at it from this angle if we can. So black ferrule and a black eraser. The silver one has a, seems to me to be a silver imprint. And the gold seems to have, no, I take that back. The silver one has a gold imprint. The gold one has a silver imprint. And the bronze one has a gold imprint. And it's just pen and gear number 2 HB. That's it. There's no other markings on these pencils. Uh, they are pre-sharpened, as you can see. These are not cedar pencils. Uh, the wood makes that very clear. Uh, I don't know that I have seen any pen and gears um, that are cedar pencils, at, uh, at least not in recent memory. Um, but I will say, you know, overall, not a bad paint job on these pencils. The ferrules are crimped on. Um, 
there are a, I would say, medium, medium hex. So they have a, a little bit more of a pronounced corner, not like a musgrave corner, uh, not that extreme, but um, a little more than, say, a semi-hex pencil. Uh, or some other pencils that have very muted corners. These are a little bit more pronounced. But, again, love the colors. How do they write? Eh, we'll see. I expect that they write pretty much like the pen and gear yellow pencils that I featured recently. But let me get a piece of paper and we'll find out. Okay. I'm going to go with the, I'm not putting a new point on these pencils, I'll just, I'll use the factory point in this case. I'll try switching them off to see. If there's any difference. As with the other number two pen and gear pencils, these are dark, soft, um, fairly smooth. They do have an attached eraser, so let's use it. There you go. If you prefer to use some of the more popular block erasers. There's a pink pearl. Here is a Pentel. Oh. A 
magic rub. The eraser from Mr. Penn. Not surprisingly, we always seem to have a better performance from our block erasers than we do our attached erasers. I mean, the attached eraser wasn't bad. You know, the other thing too, and people have pointed this out, you know, I do a lot of erasing here when I do these eraser tests. But if we're writing and I make an error and I'm really only erasing a letter or even just a word, sometimes the attached eraser, although not great, will do the adequate job. But I would say, um, Overall erasability is okay on this pencil. It is a darker pencil. It is a darker number two. Um, you'll find, I find, these are darker than a Ticonderoga. Uh, these are, I'm thinking of the other pencils sold at Walmart. Uh, Ticonderoga, they're also selling the Staedtler Norica, and these pencils are darker than either of those. So, um, and, you know, point retention probably isn't as good as those other pencils either, but, you know, it's an Indian pencil, which uh, I think we typically expect them to be on the darker and the softer side. But for $1.49 for 12 pencils, I think it's a pretty good bargain anyways. And especially if you, um, because it's not a terrible pencil uh, and it has, and look at these colors. I like them. If you are a fan of sort of these metallic tones, there's not much not to like on this, this deal here. So thanks for spending the time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll look forward to seeing you again soon here on Always Analog.